Hey guys, it's Christina Gale here in Studio A telling you that my unicorn dreams are anything but dead. Well, we all knew that this was coming. We will be going in TI from Monday, November 16th to November 30th. If you have any concerns, talk to your huddle teacher for more information. And if you need a device, go to the library. They will provide you with one. Just because we are going in TI doesn't mean you get to be lazy. Ask your teachers what the plan will be and remember, do your work. Don't forget to sign up for the ACT prep workshops for November 14th, 21st and December 5th. The fee for instructions is $300. It is open to all schools for kids in the area. They will provide specific test taking strategies to better your ACT score. Soon the Marshall County speech team is competing in its first tournament of the season, engaging virtually in six rounds of competition hosted by Murray High and Dunbar. The final round of the, for the tournament will take place Saturday, November 14th. Students competing this week are Carly Jones, Megan Park, Bradfield Ross, Jack Johnson, Evie Powell, and Jackson McLean. Good luck! Miss Gwynn's class is dissecting a pig for Project Lead the Way. Project Lead the Way by Medical Science is a four-course sequence that allows students to investigate the roles of biomedical professionals as they study the concepts of human medicine, physiology, genetics, microbiology, and public health. Each course in biomedical science helps students gain more skills and knowledge in each of the preceding courses. Anyone could take the class course and learn more about this concept. If you have any questions about this course, go to Ms. Gwynn in room 1310. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is accepting applications for scholarship opportunities. The student will be eligible for stipends in the amount of $6,200 for their freshman and sophomore years and $6,000 for junior and senior years. No, it is not offered as a general financial assistance. The Marshall Mission is holding a food and snack drive and will last until the 20th. The mission is asking for practically everything, including Pop-Tarts, canned food, any soup, mac and cheese, and even popcorn. Don't forget to donate. If you're looking for some holiday cheer this season, then we have you covered. A bunch of parks around us are laying up their grounds to spread a little joy. Mike Miller's Christmas in the Park Light Show, which was recognized by the state for its social media challenge, hashtag Spot the Grinch, will be lit on November 27th. The lights will be seen from December 30th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. with the exception of Christmas and Christmas Eve. Paducah's Noble Park is hosting a Christmas parade, except it's in reverse. While the floats are sitting in the park, you'll be the one to drive by them. It's only a two-day event, December 5th and 6th, so make sure you don't miss it. You can drive by the parade starting at 5.30 or watch them shut it down at 8.30. In Murray, the Festival of Lights in Central Park will also be lying up for the holidays. They will be asking for donations like canned foods or cash donations within the lights, so be sure to donate. While donating, you get to see the beautiful lights that will be lit from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. from November 27th through January 2nd. Congratulations to the following students who were selected as FBLA officers for the 2021 school year. Anna Knowles, President, Caden Driver, Co-Vice President, Ryan English, Co-Vice President, Macy Brown, Secretary, Abella Kurtz, Reporter, Nate Clapp, Treasurer, Lainey Evans, Historian, Emma Thorne, Parliamentarian. FBLA is now officially recruiting members. Dues this year are $25. Joining includes a t-shirt. To join, see Mr. Ross, Mrs. Gaddis, or one of the officers. The competitive event list is now available. Sign up early to get to get the event you want. Study materials are available for all events. Today for lunch is chicken or fish sandwiches, green beans, and peaches. Remember those book trailers we talked about? Well, we got another one for you guys. If this book doesn't seem like the one for you, that's okay. Just check out our school library whenever you get the chance. For today's episode of Magic for Mortals, Sokoa has got a special trick up his sleeve. All right, we're gonna try something using the Four Kings. Uh, we'll actually get back to those in a second. 
First thing we need to do is just pick out a random card. So say you said stop here. Perfect. I'm actually going to look away. Just get a good look at the card. Perfect. I'll actually set uh, the deck aside. So all we need are the four kings, uh, your card, and uh, the box. And people ask me why I use the box. The simple reason is just to make sure that I can't, uh, you know, something's on top of it so I can't go ahead and look at it or, you know, figure out what it is. Uh, and you'll see why that's important in a second. The reason why I don't want to look at it is because the kings are actually going to tell me what your, what your card is. Uh, and they do it in a really interesting way. They actually do it by turning over. So for example, if you turn one king over, all the kings turn over, except for one, except for one. In this case, um, by turning over, it tells me that your card uh, had a back. Okay, your card had a back to it. So that's what it tells me. Uh, check it out, here's, here's number two, excuse me, number two. The second one turns over, this one tells me, don't tell me, that the back was black. It was black on the back, that's what it tells me. Uh, check it out, number three, that's actually number three. Uh, this one tells me that your card was rectangular. Your card was in the shape of a rectangle. Uh, yeah, and the way it does all this is just by every time they turn face down, they're actually looking at, at your card. Uh, but it, 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 the truth, truth be told, it is completely useless, uh, even when all the cards turn over because I'm not looking at any faces, so I have no reference to go by. Uh, but just like the beginning, just like before, if you turn one card over, all of the cards turn over except for one. However, this time it gives me a little bit of info. I see hearts, I see diamonds and clubs, but I see spades turned over, uh, which give me a little bit of an indication that your card was a something of spades. However, check this out. But if your card is here, then that means under the box the entire time, King of Spades. Wow, that was great as always. And remember, we will be still doing Magic for Mortals during NCI, so make sure to tune in. Have you ever had Mrs. Jenny Darnell in class? She teaches English and French and has been teaching here for 21 years. Have you ever wondered what she was like in high school? In this week's flashback, we'll be taking a look at Mrs. Darnell when she was in high school. Blooper Reel consists of both Trevor and Tekoa in a new ending clip. Hope you like it! Have you filled out your FAFSA? FAFSA? I can't do it. Nope. No, I can't. I really can't. No. No, I can't. Uh, can't do it. Okay. <sighs> Today there will be a. Oh, that is. It, it is FAFSA. I want to make the best day because Okay. I'm really glad the blooper reel for this week was edited before we did this newscast. Because there'd be a lot. I'm Takoa, and this has been the Morning Marshal. Have a great day. Oh, I'm so glad it's done.
A huge thank you to our masked marshals for keeping everyone around you safe and for watching the morning marshal. Please remember that we won't be here for a while due to the Rona season. Have a great day.